Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Math Kangaroo Contest review video for grade 3 and 4. In today's video, we will cover problems about time, hours, minutes, and seconds. Hope you enjoy them! Some of the skills and concepts we will use today include reading the time of a 24-hour clock, splitting a time interval into convenience of units, converting between units of time, Remember, one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes, and one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. And finally, adding and subtracting time in hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's start with the first question. It will be four hours after midnight in six and a half hours. What time is it now? Like in all the Math Kangaroo contest questions, you have five options and only one is the correct answer. Pause this video and try working it out yourself, and when you are ready, keep watching to see how it's done. To solve this problem, we can visualize it. Let's first take the first part of the question. This is how 4 hours after midnight look in a clock. The question says that it will be 4 a.m. in 6.5 hours. Since we know that if we go backwards 4 hours, we will arrive at midnight, we now only need to calculate 6 hours 30 minutes minus 4 hours, which is 2 hours and 30 minutes in total. Counting back 2 hours and a half from midnight would be 9.30 p.m., which in a 24-hour clock is equivalent to 21.30. So our correct option is option A. Let's look at the second question. There are three songs on a CD. The first song is 6 minutes and 25 seconds long. The second song is 12 minutes and 25 seconds long. And the third song is 10 minutes and 13 seconds long. How long are all the three songs together? Again, we have five options, so let's figure it out which one is correct. Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. Before we start, remember that one minute has 60 seconds. Our strategy will be to add all the same units together. When we add all the seconds, we get 63 seconds. As just mentioned before, 60 seconds can be written as one minute, so we should convert our result to one minute to three seconds. Next, we will add all the minutes, and we will get 28 minutes. Finally, let's add everything together, and we get 29 minutes and 3 seconds, which is option B. For our third question, we have the following problem. A movie is 90 minutes long. It started at 17.10. In the middle, there were two commercial breaks, one lasting 8 minutes long and one lasting 5 minutes. At what time did the movie finish? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. When you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. Let's walk through the problem. We can visualize this problem while we add the times. First, let's visualize the starting time of the movie. Remember, 1710 looks like 510 on an analog clock. If we need to add 90 minutes, which is the duration of the movie, we need to move the hours by 1 and the minutes by 30 as 90 minutes is equivalent to 1 hour and 30 minutes. Finally, we need to add the break times, which is 13 minutes in total. We will end at 18.53, which is option D. For our fourth question, we have another time interval problem. A 40-minute lesson started at 11.50 a.m. Exactly at the middle of the lesson, a bird suddenly flew into the classroom. At what time did that happen? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. A full lesson is 40 minutes. Since the bird flew into the classroom in the middle of the lesson, we have to add half to that to 11.50 a.m., which is the start. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So halfway through the lesson is 20 minutes from the start. 
Adding 20 minutes to 11.50 a.m. gives the middle of the lesson, which is 12.10 p.m., and that is option C. For our fifth question, let's do another question on 24-hour time. A 24-hour digital clock shows the time 20.07. How much time will pass until the next closest time when these same four digits reappear on the clock? in any order? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. Recall that on a 24-hour digital clock, the first two digits can only show numbers from 0 to 23 because there are 24 hours, and the last two digits can only show numbers from 0 to 60 because there are 60 minutes. Therefore, there are only four other arrangements of the digits 2, 0, 0, 7 on it. 0, 0, 27, 0, 2, 0, 7, 0, 7, 0, 2, and 0, 7, 20. Of these times, 0, 0, 27, which is 27 minutes after midnight is closest to 2007. Let's put 2007 on an analog clock and try to dial it forward to 0027. Here we can clearly see how the hour hand moving forward by 4 hours and the minute hand moving forward by 20 minutes. Therefore, our answer is 4 hours and 20 minutes, which is option A. For our sixth question, let's do a question related to time unit conversions. Which of the following is equal to the value of the product 60 times 60 times 24 times 7? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. Recall that each week has 7 days. Each day has 24 hours, each hour has 60 minutes, and each minute has 60 seconds. Let's come up with expressions for each option and try to match it against what the question asked for. Option A is given by 60 times 24 times 7 times 7. Option B is given by 24 times 60. Option C is given by 60 times 60 times 7. Option D is given by 60 times 60 times 24 times 7. Option E is given by 60 times 24 times 7 times 24. And here we see that the expression shown in the question is in option D. For our next problem, we have the following question. Annie fell asleep at 9.30 p.m. and woke up at 6.45 a.m. the next morning. Her brother Martin had been sleeping one hour and 15 minutes longer. How many hours and minutes had Martin been sleeping? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. Let's solve this numerically by splitting the time that Martin has been sleeping into three parts, and then let's add them together. The first part is before midnight. If he fell asleep at 9.30 p.m. like Annie did, we can see that it's 2 hours 30 minutes before midnight. The second part is after midnight, until Annie woke up. This is clearly 6 hours 45 minutes. The third part is the extra time that Martin slept more than Annie did, which, like the question said, is 1 hour 50 minutes. We will now add the hours and minutes separately and then combine them. The total number of hours is 2 plus 6 plus 1, which is equal to 9, and the total number of minutes is 30 plus 45 plus 50, which is equal to 125 minutes. Since there are 60 minutes in an hour, that is equal to 2 hours and 5 minutes. 
we can combine these as 9 hours plus 2 hours 5 minutes, which is a total of 11 hours 5 minutes, which is option C. For our next problem, we have the following question. Martina left her house at 6.55 a.m. and arrived at school at 7.32 a.m. Her friend Diane arrived at school at 7.45 a.m., even though she lives closer to the school and took her 12 minutes less than Martina to get there. When did Diane leave her house? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. Let's do this three-part question one step at a time. The first step is to calculate how long Martina took to get to school. This is the time when she arrived minus the time when she left her house. We get 7.32 minus 6.55, which is equal to 37 minutes. The second step is to calculate how long Diane took to get to school. This is the amount from the first step minus the 12 minutes stated in the question. We get 37 minutes minus 12, which is equal to 25 minutes. The third step is to calculate when Diane left her house. This is the time when she arrived minus the amount from the second step. We get 7.45 minus 25 minutes, which is equal to 7.20, which is option B. For our last problem in this section, we have the following question. At 6.15 in the morning, a ghost vanished away, and the math clock, which had been showing the right time, started to run at the run speed but backwards. The ghost appeared again at 19.30 in the evening. What time did the math clock show at the moment when the ghost appeared? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching it to see how it's done. Let's look at the following graph. Because the ghost appeared first at 6.15 and then at 19.30, we can say that the clock has been running backwards for 19 hours 30 minutes minus 6 hours 15 minutes, which is 13 hours and 15 minutes. The math clock was showing the right time at the first time, at 6.15. Then it started going backwards for 13 hours and 15 minutes. If we go 13 hours and 15 minutes backwards, we will get a time in the past. We are currently at 6 hours 15 minutes past midnight, so we need to go another 7 hours backwards from midnight to arrive to the time displayed in the math clock. 24 hours minus 7 hours is 17 hours, which is option A. Hope you all enjoyed the video and thank you so much for listening.